This is Justin Germino from DragonBlogger.com, and I'm here showing off the Red Dragon Impact Gaming Mouse software. This is how you configure the Impact Gaming Mouse, which is the 12 thumb button MMO Gaming Mouse. By default, when you install the software and you load it up, it's showing you the front of the mouse, or the top of the mouse, which they call the front, with the top buttons. You can see by default, you've got your you know, left mouse button, right mouse button, your scroll wheel button, and your five and six buttons, which they call, which are typically your DPI increase or decrease buttons, and of course your four button, which is your index finger button, which I turned into a F9 key. Click on the side, and you get your access to your 12 thumb buttons and how you want to program them. By default, they're one to zero, num plus, and minus, which are pretty useless by default unless you are playing a game that uses the number keys. So you also have five different profiles you could save for the mouse. So you can maybe create a profile for five different games that have the thumb buttons arranged differently. You have full control over the acceleration of the mouse default on top of the DPI change. You've got your pointer speed. You've got your scroll wheel speed. You've got your double click speed. You've got the pull rate and how often the mouse is pulling for where it is in the pad. A high pull rate I always find is usually a little better. Um, I typically use a high pull rate because the more frequently it pulls, the more accurate it is, at least I find. And then, of course, in the DPI tab, you have five different DPI configurations, and you can set them to be um, varied as low as 200 DPI to as high as 12,400 DPI. So typically, you're going to want to cover the DPI um, range, however that sees fit for you, whether you like drawing in a paint program and use a super high DPI so you can get really precise, really slow um, lines and drawing, or whether you want a really fast DPI, um, you can have a high DPI with the acceleration very high so that it can be more accurate when you're playing first person shooters and things like that. Normally when you have the DPI high, right, then the mouse moves slower because it's tracking slower, it's more accurate. So typically what you want to do is high DPI, maximize the acceleration, then you get more accurate tracking and you can do things like that. The light patterns on the mouse are adjusted with the light setting. You've got breathing, rainbow, full lighted, wave, um, reactive, which is where just moving the mouse will trigger the lights to come on and flash. You've got different brightness levels, breathing speeds. The mouse only has seven different colors to choose from, and then rainbows between them. So it isn't a full 16.7 million color wheel RGB mouse. You are restricted to the seven colors and patterns there, so that's something to know. But, you know, I typically use Red Dragons, of course, color is typically red, so that's usually the default, but I typically use the light blue to offset. Now, the DPI buttons themselves, to show you which DPI mode, those will always be red. So you have 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4 red lights indicating whether or not you, you know, what DPI mode you're on. So to configure buttons, you select the button that you want to configure, and then you have your options whether you want it to be left click, right click, middle, forward, back, single key, and then type any key on the keyboard. You can have it set to be a combination key, such as Shift F1, Control F1, whatever, things like that. You can have it set up to be a default basic key, like copy, paste, you know, there's some basics, some advanced keys like, um, you know, browser forward, browser back, media keys for start, stop, play. You know, and then you could, of course, you could start creating macros, and then of course you could have you could change another key to be the uh, another uh, mouse button to be the DPI switch. Now the macro manager is something else completely entirely. You get to create custom macros. Um, you start by creating a new macro, and then what you want to do is you can see the record delays between the each action. You can insert millisecond delays by default, how many times you want the macro to loop, and then you can also, now this is something the Rytaki doesn't have, repeat run when keyed down. So the Rytaki manager, you hold the mouse button down, the macro down, and it won't repeat the macro until you let go of the button and press the button again. But with the Red Dragon software, you can make it to where you hold the mouse button down, it'll constantly and infinitely repeat the macro as long as you're holding the button down, which is really nice. So you can record mouse actions, you can record after certain amounts, things like that. I can press the record button here, and let's say I want to do Q, W, E, E, W, E, E, W, W, E, Q, and then stop my macro. And you see how it's <coughs> recording the Q on the down and the Q on the up, the W on the down, the W on the up. So it's doing the actions um, because it has to depress and the release is also an action, right? So you can delete and remove the releases as well as the presses if you need to, but typically it's fine to leave the double actions. But that's why you see a double action for every letter is because you have an action on the press and then another action on the release. That's possible. So you can create your own custom macros to be, you know, fighting moves, specific styles and games, things like that. 
where I really like the Red Dragon MMO game mouse, like the other mouse that I was reviewing and other MMO game mouses, is I use Elite Dangerous. Elite Dangerous has tons of keys on the keyboard. I never want my left hand to leave the keyboard, but I don't have want to take my hand off the mouse, right, my right hand off the mouse to hit some keys on the numpad. So usually what I like to do is I like to set a lot of num keys and a lot of F keys functions. That way I can access my landing gear, I can access my... <clears throat> flight assist on or off, I can access my galaxy map, I can access my you know solar system map, I can access all my stuff without ever having to take my hands off the mouse, and I can always have my hand, my one hand on my WAS keys and then my other hand on my mouse, and pretty much access all my buttons, almost never taking my hand off the mouse to do everything I need to do in a game. So that's where I really like having a 12 thumb button game mouse. And it takes some getting used to to get your thumb to, to hit all the buttons, um, sometimes you can hit the wrong button by accident and you don't have muscle memory and you don't know which button to hit, but you just have to get used to it over time and it works fine. So this is an overview of the Red Dragon Impact Game Mouse software. Uh, I've been using the Red Dragon Game Mouse for only a few hours now. I'll be giving a full review soon. I'll be customizing the software more for some of my games. Stay tuned.